Hey Libra, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Libra. So if you're a Libra sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, or if you have a stellium in Libra, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. This person is, um, they're going through pictures and everything. If this, there was a third party situation here, that's over. If this person did have the habit of randomly dating people, hooking up with multiple people, all of that is pretty much over. And that's because the kind of chemistry they have with you, they can't find it somewhere else. They can't replicate it somewhere else. This card came out in reverse. So if this person did block you or ghosted you or just left, they are, they, they want to come in. If this person just avoided having a conversation with you. They want to talk. They want to deal with this, whatever happened here. And that's why they keep looking at these pictures that I said at the beginning of the reading. You were very kind, charming, graceful. You had you have that Venusian energy of after all. So they miss that kind of energy they got from you. And that is why no matter who they try to replicate this energy with, it never happens. This could have been a very, very codependent rela relationship or connection. A lot of obsessiveness, possessiveness. This person could have tried to control you. This person needs healing. They need to focus on their healing right now. It's almost this energy of no one compares to you, that sort of a thing. This person could be recognized their vices, their devil-like energy, their addictions and whatnot, and wanting to work on them, trying to work on them. All right. Okay. I want to use this.
that five of cups can be thinking about the spilled cups thinking about reminiscing about the past why do i have a different card in this deck came out could be dealing with the Leo Sagittarius This person is feeling very, very pessimistic right now. Um, they are very focused on whatever negative happened here. A lot, as I said, this person could be reminiscing, you know, um, going through the pictures and everything, looking at your pictures and everything because they think about all the happy moments that you both shared and now they don't have you in their life anymore. This person is in a negative mindset. Okay. Yeah, we have the two of cups here. Ace of Swords, Justice, which is your energy, right? So, they really felt like a soulmate connection with you, a bond with you, and but they did injustice to you. They played with your emotions. They were unfair to you. That is why the justice is here. And this person is very focused on what they did bad to you, what they did unfair to you. They are very focused on that. Ace of Swords here, this person is definitely gaining clarity. They're seeing things clearly right now. So whatever their part was, the part they played in hurting you, they can see it clearly. They can see the injustice they did to you. If this was a strong soulmate connection and this person cheated on you and brought in a third party or sneaked behind your back, then yeah, they are regretful about all their actions. Clarify the champions, please. Clarify the champions, please. Clarify the champions, please. Oh, wow. I was talking about the devil energy, right? 
and we have the lovers and the devil such familiar kind of cards and energy these cards are very very similar except there's the devil here and there's an angel here and they are bound here but here they are not bound all right they're trying to balance themselves funny how the temperance came out here the temperance and we have the devil on one side the lovers on one side they're trying to balance themselves here this connection means a lot to them and we did have where is it insane chemistry right burning desire which is this lovers kind of energy they have a desire for you they have the passion for you they want you but at the same time, this person has addiction in reverse, right? So this person definitely has some codependency issues, some obsession, something that is blocking this connection. So when it comes to their emotions, this person is some sort of war. There's a war going. Hmm, I heard a song. There's a war inside my head and I'm drowning in regrets. I don't know what song is. I can't remember. I don't remember which song that is. But um, yeah, they are drowning in regrets and they do have a war inside going on inside them. This is a very strong connection and look at that we have the five of cups again drowning in regrets this person is being very very pessimistic right now they are in a very negative state whatever guilt they have regarding whatever happened here that's slowly eating this person away they are in a kind of a mess With the five of pentacles here this person sees you as someone who has left the building you have left yeah you are you're holding back from them on purpose also we have the four and five of pentacles here so we have an ace of pentacles in the mix yeah you are holding back look at that we have four four we have five five we have six six you're holding back on purpose you have the strength to overcome whatever happened here that's how they're seeing you you're also healing and we did have time to heal so you are doing your part you are healing yourself You are taking care of yourself. And you know it's better to hold back from this person than give to this connection. So you are doing your part. You know what is the right thing to do here and you are doing that. No matter how much attraction you feel towards this person too. Because we did have the two of cups and the two of cups is mutual love. So even if you are very, very attracted to this person, you have a lot of love for them. You are still deciding to hold back from giving to this person, giving to this connection on purpose. And that is how they see you. They see you as someone who has a lot of strength to overcome whatever happened here. And you are giving yourself time to heal. Also, again, with the strength here, they are very attracted to you. Very attracted to your presence of mind, I heard. Presence of mind, your strength. 
if you cut this person out and set your boundaries straight this person respects has mad respect for you because you did that even if they might not admit it when it comes to the true intentions i don't think i need to clarify this i might clarify the four of cups but yeah queen of pentacles the sun the ten of cups this person is scared that this will become a missed opportunity they don't want this to become the missed opportunity because with the sun here you brought in a lot of happiness into this person's life again that attraction you uh, you could be dealing with a leo capricorn if i didn't mention gemini all right so the kind of attraction they feel with you the kind of you felt like home for this person Yeah, sure, they're attracted to you. There's insane chemistry, there's passion. All of those things are there. But other than that, you felt like a home towards this person. And that is why the first thing card that came out was beauty, charming, graceful, kind-hearted. And the Queen of Pentacles can definitely be that kind-hearted energy. The Queen of Pentacles, the sun, that very innocent, kind-hearted energy. Can I try the four of cups, please? Page of Swords, this person is keeping an eye on you, stalking you. Yeah, they do want to communicate because Page of Swords and the Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, they do want to communicate here. With the Hanged Man here, this person is gaining some sort of clarity. regarding the situation they are understanding their what they truly want this was the kind of person who didn't see a good thing when it was when they had it they didn't understand how good they have got until they lost it so this person is understanding to appreciate good things they're understanding the value of you all right Okay. Let's see there. Wow, yeah, we have the King of Wands, that passion, the desire. They do want to pursue you. Four of Wands and King of Wands. Four of Wands is seeing that possibility of that happiness. King of Wands, Seven of Cups, this was definitely the kind of person who liked. It's possible this is the kind of person who liked having their options open at all times. Look at that. We have the Seven of Cups repeated here twice. Yeah, this was the kind of person who loved having options. Or they were just very confused when it comes to this. Like in their head, they're very confused all the time. They want to have the cake and eat it too. six of wands this person is going to make some sudden moves some sudden decisions they are going to take uh, they were stuck in this two of swords energy of not being able to make any decision of being always lost in their mind of being attracted to everyone and trying to as i said have their cake and eat it too this person is going to reach a decision make a decision the universe is going to force them to make a decision here they will recognize that they cannot be in this king of wands seven of cups repeated twice two of swords sort of um state if they be in that state forever then nothing's going to happen in this connection they are this is going to become a missed opportunity and they don't want that to happen all right 
could be dealing with a Scorpio. What is with the cards today in this reading? Divine timing is at play here. I saw the Wheel of Fortune in both these decks. Judgment, second chances, ten of pentacles. Yeah, and the five of wands in reverse. So whatever third party situation, whatever insecurities, whatever secrets there were, this person is going to cut out all of that. The third party situations, multiple people involved, this drama, this argument, whatever happened between the both of you, whatever continued to happen in this connection, insecurities, whatever it was, this person is going to cut all of that out. Secrets and everything, everything is going to come out. This person is going to come clean because they want another chance with you because they see the chance of this Ten of Pentacles with you. The happily ever after. All right, we, uh, you could be dealing with Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, all right, rest I've mentioned all the signs, Sagittarius, Gemini, yeah. Well, that's your reading, Libra. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.